To understand Tom Campbell's big theory of everything, or simulation theory, we'll start from the top. Out here, everywhere around here, is basically the great unknown, where there really is no way to know what happened because we are not on the outside. We are actually a piece of consciousness, which is encapsulated with the red circle. How consciousness came into being, or exactly what consciousness is, there is really no way for us to understand that at this stage of the game. But what we do know is that consciousness is essentially a digital information system, and all digital information systems have a goal to survive. And to survive, one must lower entropy, um, which is disorder or chaos within the digital information system. So consciousness, being a digital information system, needed a way to reduce its entropy or streamline its process or better organize its data um, in order to continue existing. So what consciousness did was split off within itself. So within consciousness, in the white area here surrounded by the red, consciousness split within itself exactly how a cell splits or duplicates itself, a process called cellular mitosis. An interesting depiction of cellular mitosis occurs at the beginning of the movie Prometheus. For one reason or another, they show it, and it's very interesting to notice the cell that basically just keeps splitting and splitting and splitting, and that occurs all around with all the other cells. So it's basically demonstrating the process of life. Okay, so for now let's assume that consciousness has split off inside of itself uh, to create um, units, uh, these little guys in here, that can interact with one another to create improvements or gain intelligence or gain efficiencies. So what these are referred to would be individuated units of consciousness. So each one of these is an independent, essentially an independent, um, free-thinking chunk of consciousness. So you have all these contained within the larger consciousness system. That's what what is everything within consciousness. Um, but Thomas Campbell likens this to yelling at each other in the chat room. Um, when they're just static like this, you can't really gain a lot of traction or improvements from this one yelling at this one, yelling at this one, speaking to this. Maybe there's some good information there, but yielding quality information um, is very difficult. Therefore, consciousness needed to take another step in order to bring it to the level where we are now. So the next step consciousness took was splitting off one more time from the individuated units of consciousness of the blue. It split off into another piece of red. Now the line has no physical uh, meaning here. It's just to show that the red piece of consciousness, which in these cases Tom Campbell refers to as a free will awareness unit. This is basically your avatar, who we become to play a character in this physical virtual reality that we inhabit. So the individuated unit of consciousness essentially births uh, via cellular mitosis a free will awareness unit, and then these free will awareness units intermingle with the other free will awareness units within the virtual reality simulation. Thanks for watching this. Hope you learned something from it. Check out Tom Campbell's material and his YouTube site. There's a ton of information there. And check out my book, Simulation Secrets. Thanks for watching.